Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Life is good, guys. Life is good. Anyway, it's a beautiful day out. I've already done some kettlebell. I've already done some bike. I am got a lot of work to do. I have some clients. I have some uh, students, trumpet students, and I'm going to get back out on the bike when I get this video up and get my work done. Beautiful. It's that, that beautiful out. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Vintage Herseth. Not the video I put up vin yesterday. Vintage Herseth. You're going to love this. Okay? Let me honk a little bit for his notes of the day, and we'll take it from there. in locked in three octave chromatic scales up to E flats above double C and going right into caress the baby that's the theme of the Tyrolean song usually I do a variation on it. it turns into some bob wire but anyway that's why life's good man <laughs> so here's the deal Vintage Herseth. Now, I have a lot of new viewers. I get new viewers all the time. All right? And many of them, many of them are young guys. For the most part, when I first started this channel, m most of my subscribers were all older guys, comeback players, cronies of Jerry and all this sort of stuff. Over the years, I've gotten really a nice fan base of, of, of subscriber base of young guys. And these young guys have no idea who Herseth is or was. Okay? Now, much of his legacy has been preserved by the beauty of YouTube and whatnot. Unlike people before him, Harry Glantz, we don't have much. Mel Broyles, we don't have much unless you want to look at, listen to... Um, Metropolitan Opera recordings, uh, there's a lot of people that sort of fall in the cracks. Herseth was not one of them. There's plenty of stuff out there. But guys, and my young guys, please, 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 if you are not privy to vintage Herseth, don't take that video that I put yesterday, up yesterday, as what he is all about. That he is well past it. He's just fooling around with a bunch of yahoos. There's no, you know, microphone or anything. It's just something on somebody's phone. Guys, that's not vintage Herseth, okay? What I put up yesterday, perfect, perfect example of the pop, okay? So what I'm putting down down there, I have not seen before. I only caught, saw it the other day. And it is several different versions of Herseth playing the promenade to pictures at an exhibition, okay, with different conductors. And how he changed the sound, how he changed his interpretation, and everything is just, just brilliant. Fritz Reiner and Kubelek, and I mean just, what, what, what a career this guy had. Anyway, with that said, very, very different. Now, we saw from yesterday's video that he was changing the tone and doing his chameleon thing with the tone. Since his chops were so great, he sounded good on any mouthpiece or trumpet that he put in front of him. That's how he altered the sound. Rotary valve, deeper cups, stuff like this, depending on the conductor. But at about 6.55, 6 minutes and 55 seconds of the video, 
he has he has two with Schulte. But the first one is brilliant. Oh my God, guys, that is what I'm talking about. That is what I've been talking about for 40 years in the YouTube channel. Guys, if that doesn't sound like Harry James, then I'm not puckish and adorable. <laughs> Honest to God. Now, you add a little vibrato, a lot of vibrato, that's what Harry James sound like. Now, Herseth was using a C trumpet and all that sort of stuff. But guys, all of these guys emulated Harry James. Herseth came right out and said Harry and Maynard were his guys. Cataract loved. He had a band in high school where he was fronting and he was doing, you know, Cherry Cherry Bin and the whole nine yards. Guys, he's not the only one. But also, as you know, I love that solo. Now, what it's got, it, it just is you're just out there naked, man. And if your tone and power isn't right. Now, I did a I did a show years ago. It started off Broadway and eventually went to Broadway and everything. It didn't make much. It was with uh, George Costanza. What's it, what's his name? The actor. He was a star of the show. But it was um, called Three Guys Naked from the Waist Down. And it talks about three comedians that were on their way up doing the, the you know, the Catch a Rising Star and all the comedy clubs in New York. And the, the, uh, the, the uh, title comes from a phrase used by comedians when they are bombing terribly. They're out there and nobody is laughing. They say, they refer to it as I was naked from the waist down. It's just humiliating. Well, this is what the promenade of pictures offers you. The chance to be naked from the waist down while you're playing, guys, if you clam one note, it's along the lines of taps, you clam one note, there's no big cadenza to, to make up for it. Everybody knows the solo. Everybody that pays the money to go to the New York Philharmonic knows that solo. And that's, that's just you, baby. And then this incredible Chicago Symphony brass section comes in with it. It sounds like the most expensive organ in the whole world. Be -da -de I just love it. It gives me, to this day, it gives me goose flies. My only regret is that I never heard Herseth do it live. Okay? And once again, I'm going to sign off with this. Guys, God bless all of these orchestral players out there. Okay? They're not doing this. They're not doing this. The times have changed. The conductors have changed. I get it. I get it. I'm not knocking any of them. And to do the job that they do, they do an incredible job. They're not this, man. And every single one of them, Chris Martin, all of those guys, if you ask them, oh, no. I'm not, I'm not her, Seth. Oh, no. Every single one of them would tell you the same thing. So, anyway. That... Is that one other thing? One other thing, as we said before, and we looked at the thing, he is changing the tone and the timbre of his tone and everything with a mouth, uh, change of mouthpieces and change of trumpets. We don't need that, guys. That is obsolete stuff. With the 1SB, you can change the timbre of your tone to anything that you want. Listen, Herb Smith does it every single night, he plays. With the Chicago, uh, the um, Eastman, the Phil, the uh, oh, what's that? What's the what's the symphony he plays with? It's crazy. Anyway, he plays assistant principal trumpet with the Rochester Philharmonic. Rochester Philharmonic, get it. And then he, he scoots right out, gets in a cab, whatever, and goes downtown and plays lead trumpet with Paul Anka, all with the same equipment. That is what you have now that you haven't had. All right. Anyway, enjoy. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Okay.